Well, I don't know. I think I think that um, in terms of what we've seen on ground um, with all uh, uh, previous systems, some forms of capitalism for me um, have delivered in terms of what we would like to see. And I, and I said, um, but the question is now, what type of capitalism? Um, I, I certainly am no admirer uh, of a system that basically privileges um, the rise in stock market prices as the mark of success, okay, uh, and, and, and financial markets. Um, I, I do think the kind of um, economies that we've built, where the bulk of the GDP is in financial assets, uh, where uh, people just sit in London and New York um, and basically transport money across the world into stock markets, into um, bond markets, um, make huge returns and take it back. I, I don't think that is a sustainable um, model long term. It will make a few people very rich, but I don't think it's sustainable because it continues to um, extract wealth at the expense of the vast majority of the, of the world's population. Uh, within countries, I think a system that allows, as Warren Buffett says, uh, a situation where a Warren Buffett pays a lower tax, as a, as in a lower tax band than his secretary, uh, is intrinsically uh, self-defeating. It, it, can, it, can, it can survive for a short while, but ultimately it cannot continue. Now, um, on the other extreme, you look at places like Norway, you look at countries where uh, you, 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 the, the tax rates are so high on the very rich and where people have voluntarily accepted that they want to uh, be, they, they, they're ready to live, uh, to make a lot of money and then uh, hand it over to the state, uh, which then uses it uh, to bring up those who are less fortunate, invest in the education of society, invest in, uh, now that is more sustainable because, uh, you know, you could be rich today, you don't know where your child is going to be tomorrow. And, and what you want is a, is a system where your child does not depend on your wealth, but the society takes care of that child and your grandchild and great grandchild. So when you think generations um, uh, going forward, you, you would see that um, countries like Norway, countries like Sweden, who think beyond um, uh, just um, cap um, income for the capitalists are more sustainable. So that, that is the model of capitalism that I think uh, would, uh, would work. And it goes back to everything I've said before. Uh, and I think it's the insight uh, that Mark Carney, um, well, it's part of what I, what I gathered from his brief um, lectures, uh, the idea that you have to go beyond value to values. And, and that is the only way. Um, and, 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 th and therefore you have a constant improvement in capitalism. Now, if, what would it become later? What would it be called? Um, I don't know, is it um, humanism, humanistic capitalism? I don't know, but um, you, you, you continue to, it to be a continued progression. Um, I, I can't think of a system that, that, uh, that, that would replace it, I said, but I can actually, um, as I said, see us moving uh, towards a particular form of capitalism. And I think that would be more sustainable in the long term.